Hey, hello guys, Brian back here with a COSPA update. I just wanted to get a video out today. Um, seen some bullish stuff happening here with this coin, so I wanted to get a video out. Might be a, another day or two after today before I put another one out, but um, this thing is looking really good. Uh, we held the low right here, so that is looking fantastic. If we go over here to the uh, stats on this thing, uh, for the 24 hours, we're up almost 10%. Um, last hour we're up 0.11 but look at the market cap the market cap went to 515 million last night I know when I did yesterday's video it was in the uh, 400s so definitely some interest out there popping in this coin um, here's your total supply and everything right here I know a lot of people like to see the stats you know for 90 days we're up uh, almost 400 percent so pretty uh definitely pretty impressive okay but um, let's go through here the crypto bubbles uh, for the daily there's cost but ten and a half there's Pepe there geez after, right after I made that video yesterday and said oh be careful if you made money in this thing you might want to get out look what happens so um, just gonna keep my mouth shut about this thing from now on but who knows where it'll go um, but we'll see it's just just be careful if you're if you're trading meme coins, you know, like I said, there's no, there's no, nothing built behind it, you know. Um, it's just, just a meme coin. So watch out for liquidity pulls and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure the people that created this are just waiting to cash their tokens in. You know, so I just, uh, I don't want to see anybody take a beat in here. So just be careful. Anyway, let's get back to this chart here, guys. There's some stuff I want to show you. Number one, okay, we held this low, which was super important, okay? We had this run up right here, which got us our higher high and our higher low, all right? Then we had a lower high and a lower low and a lower high. Okay, that's bearish, all right? But we did not set a lower low. We held this bottom right here, which is super important, okay? We go through this. Um, let me see here. I'm sorry. I'm going to grab this right here. Okay, and right here, this could be a double bottom pattern form in which I see a lot of the cryptos out there did it, um, doing it. Uh, but Stacks just did it. And STX, I cover that, and it did a perfect double bottom. And it looks like this thing is uh, is possibly doing the same exact thing. Let me draw this out for you here. Double bottom is extremely bullish pattern. Okay, you come down like this. It makes a W formation. You have your first bottom, then you have your second bottom, then it takes off from there. So things are definitely looking great there with that. The technicals on this on trading view, you know, we looked at them yesterday. Uh, they were bearish yesterday. It's what I said. Sometimes these things might be a little bit behind but for the daily we are a buy now on this thing the moving averages a strong buy and the oscillators a buy okay so that's how fast these things can flip over I think yesterday it uh, it set a sell on it you know they I think this thing's like a, a day behind as far as the technicals go I've seen some pretty wacky stuff on these things but most of the time they're right you know so Things are definitely looking good on this coin. I'm waiting for a breakout. We kind of have a, a parallel channel forming in this thing. If I pull my other chart up, I want to show you that. Whoops. Sorry about that. Get that out of there. You can see this uh, descending channel. That's kind of a neutral uh, pattern. You know, these can be bearish or bullish. But um, I'm looking at this upper band here. Okay, let me get back to my other one. Okay, number one. This daily has finally flipped bullish. Okay, yesterday we seen a slight curve in it. Now it is it has popped up. It's at a 3455 and a 3290. So that is flipped bullish. Okay, down on the bottom on a regular RSI down there, we're only about in the middle there. We're at a 5198. Okay, so that weekly, boy, that's the thing I am getting excited for. Look at that thing. Uh, flattening out down here and uh, geez in a few more days here after this this thing will reset there uh, Monday or let me see here yeah Monday the 8th 
Monday morning there uh, in the United States time. So that's going to be great to see. I can't wait till that weekly gets going because the weekly can make some explosive moves which on the RSI, which is fantastic. Now, if we go to these higher time frames, the 12 is still on its way up. Now, that upper resistance, the other day I drew this line. I said, uh, you need three touches to make it a valid line. Okay, and the other day when I drew it, I said, when we got up here, it would be, that would give us our third touch. Well, we, we got there, and we got our third touch. So, this is a valid resistance line now, okay? And you can see it's kind of wedging up here. If we, uh, we move these down here a little bit so you can see this. We have our support that we've been riding up here. Okay, let me grab my arrow. The support that started back here, uh, when did that start? February 21st, roughly. All right, we rode that support up here. Of course, we got our all-time high there. Now, we've come back to that line. I remember when I did a video when, <coughs> excuse me, we were up in this area. I said it could draw, a lot of the times it will draw back to a trend line, okay? Um, you have our RSIs correcting and stuff like that, daily RSIs coming down, all right? You have stuff, uh, and you'll get pulled back to this trend line, all right? Now we're wedging up. We have this upper resistance, and we have our trend line. This is coming to a, obviously coming to a head here, okay? I want to see a blowout of this, which uh, if we do get a breakout of this, you take the measured width of the, the, uh, the pattern here, Let's see here what that would give us and I'm kind of curious if it lines up with anything else and quite honestly I did not do this before the video so I am uh, seeing it just as you guys are okay that would give us a move similar to that all right now that uh, that's the measured move of, of the breakout of this wedge here okay now if we put our trend base fib on that I'm sure it is a lot higher than that Oops, there we go. That's where that thing goes. But, yeah, not too bad, though. I mean, that uh, one, two, that could give us our third wave breakout and our fourth wave pullback. Yeah, that, uh, you know, I could see that playing out for sure. Something, you know, our one, two, our third wave blast up here. Our third wave is always your longest wave, okay? Um, our fourth wave is the biggest pullback, and then your fifth wave up. It's hard to say how it'll pull out if we get this breakout up. You know, nothing's guaranteed. I always say that. Unfortunately, if it was that easy, we would all be rich. Um, trading is is extremely difficult. You know, I I have my share of losses. That's for sure. Um, but anyway we get the break out of this wedge you see where this thing could go and on the flip side of that you know if it, if it did break down you know which I don't see that I just don't see that happening you know that would bring us the whole way back down you know the measured move and a lot of times these these measured moves believe it or not a lot of times they they work out so it's crazy I don't know how this stuff all works or comes together but uh, definitely pretty crazy um, you'll see that I mean if, you, if you've been trading you know what I mean um, but if we put a Fibonacci on this thing I think this thing is right around the 618 right now yeah we're right below the 61 or uh, actually we're down to 50 percent right now all right so th let's go through these RSI's that 12 hour like we said is on its way up I believe the 8 is the whole way to the top right now you getting there yeah the 4 uh, needs a correction and the 1 is about halfway down okay and you can see that we're not losing a whole lot of steam as that 1 comes down either you know it, it looks like it caught some support right in this area here let me get that uh, Fibonacci off there there we go yeah you can see that uh, it is definitely flattened out right there on the hourly I haven't lost haven't lost a whole lot as that's coming down to two uh, it just flipped over and uh, looks like my trend line might be off a hair there no it's all right just leave it there but all right guys I just wanted to get this quick video out because this thing has been moving and uh, 
I don't want to uh, I don't want to miss a move here just uh, keep your eye on that you know we need to break that resistance at uh, what do we got here we get up to point uh, point zero three two I would say we're clear of that and uh, we first you'll see if this does break out which is extremely important I definitely want to point that out okay you'll get the breakout all right then this thing will come back and retest that as support and then go up from there all right you always want to see that retest and make sure this isn't a false breakout okay that support zone is going to be right up there in this yellow line if we get this break up okay this thing might shoot up then it will pull back retest that and then bounce from there so it's looking great guys everything uh, goes our way here and uh, hopefully we'll get this breakout pretty soon all right thank you so much guys please hit the like and subscribe and uh, i'll talk to you guys very soon thanks a lot